a very um, it's a very freeing experience because you you get the sensation of moving around on the water and the open breeze and uh, you get to look at the marine life as it's going by if there's any and it's just uh, it's a very peaceful peaceful feeling. For Paul Winkler and Mark Saunders, enjoying an afternoon of fishing on Nanaimo Lakes has been extremely challenging in the past. Thanks to John Pimlot, a 12-foot collapsible fishing raft has been designed to create an easy opportunity for people in wheelchairs to enjoy an outing on the water. Uh, May of 09 on, on Divers Lake, I made a couple friends on the wheel, wheelchair accessible dock there, and a big, light, big uh, light bulb goes over your head with the idea, and I just said, wow build a raft out of canoes, accessible, attainable, you know, viable cost-wise, depending on how you look at it, and uh, yeah, I had to do it. When you have an idea like this, you're thinking of how many people this might affect, you have to explore it. You can't just dismiss it. It's hard to imagine how many people might enjoy this outing and this concept throughout the world, really. John's collapsible canoe raft consists of three canoes and a deck assembly that is 12 feet wide. This creates a sturdy platform not only for cruising and trolling, but is wide enough for wheelchairs to move around while the craft is in motion. Not only myself, but anyone with disabilities, right? A lot of times, you know, it's not easy to get out and get out fishing. A lot of times, just the accessibility is not there. Even, you know, at Long Lake here, they do have a wheelchair accessible dock, but, you know, you can only catch so many fish from, from shore, right? So just being able to get out on a boat uh, with ease and cruise around, troll a, fry, uh, troll a fly, hang out with your friends, get all your people together, and it's just really nice to get out fishing. It feels great. I remember uh, I was out there, I think it was the first time I was out there, I caught a fish, and that was awesome. Uh, it was the first fish I caught since I was injured, and uh, it was the first day I'd been fishing since I was injured. And it was, it was uh, a really great day. It put a huge smile on my face, and, uh, and uh, it was a delicious fish, and, yeah, it was just all around uh, unbelievable day that you can you just never forget and you hope you have more of them. Nice. Yeah. This is one of several crafts that John has built. With the ultimate goal to have complete accessibility, he tries to get as many individuals out on the water as possible, gathering feedback so he can make his watercraft even better. He's amazing. Um, I've been working with him ever since I met him and he's brought me in on this project and, and tried to help him out as much as I can with information and going out on his various crafts that he comes up with and uh, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't charge us anything for it, uh, you know, it's all free of charge. Uh, he's got a heart of gold, um, taking everybody out, spending countless man hours and, and uh, his own time trying to find the right answers, trying to find the solutions that'll work. Uh, trying to keep it affordable and, sim and, and simplistic. So I've started a Facebook site, Fishing for All Nanaimo. It's a group site and as we build a team of uh, testers and helpers with the project, uh, we're gonna just going to see where it goes. Usually the people that you come across that make these type of boats are people that either has a friend that's disabled or a son, a uh, family member, but in this case John's just uh, you know, a, a unique guy that he's helping us people out in chairs and it's nice uh, just to know him and, and have the ability and to, to have him give you the opportunity to try these new inventions and, and see what works. It's a nice color here with you. In Nanaimo for Shaw TV's Big Summer, I'm Jocelyn Matwee.